Ladies and gentlemen, I am the Truth Dweller, and we, together, are the truthdwellers.com. Now, we're going to talk about something really controversial today. It's something that uh, people have been upset about for millennia, but especially more recently, uh, because I think opinions are being challenged more recently. Um, is the Earth flat? <laughs> is it flat? People have been asking this over and over and over again, and people are upset by it. And so I'm here to answer definitively uh, whether the Earth is flat or not, okay? Uh, so let's first look at the term flat. Is the Earth flat? Absolutely not. Uh, just because what is flat? If you look at this piece of paper, is this flat? No. A lot of you are thinking, yeah, it's flat. It's just really thin. No, this isn't flat. Look at this under a microscope. Huh? Try under a microscope and see what it looks like then. It's going to be hills and valleys of microanatomical particles, and it's not going to look flat to you, okay? So nothing's truly flat, and so I think that's one of the problems that the flatties have. Oh yeah, I called them flatties, huh? Because they think, oh, well, we're just going to spew the flat term and uh, not really educate people about what exactly that means, and all of a sudden, people are upset with them, and they're upset that people are upset. Well, they're using the wrong terminology. Okay, so if you're going to ask the question, is the earth flat, maybe try to find the right words first. Okay, then you have the roundies. Okay, uh, they're like, oh, the earth is round. Okay, when I, what do you think about when you, you hear the word round? I think about a circle. Okay, a circle's round. And when you look at a circle, it's a two-dimensional object. So it's actually flat. So it's interesting that the roundies are actually using something that when you look at a, a design of something... You know, you can look at it and think that appears to be relatively flat, versus physical objects are not flat, which the Earth couldn't be. Uh, but they actually use terminology that is resembling the flat. They don't say, is the Earth spherical? No, they say, is the Earth round? It should be, is the Earth spherical? Which, guess what? No 100% spheres either. Take any sort of object, put it under a microscope. Are you a basketball, I'm not really a sports guy, but when you feel a basketball, you can feel the ridges and everything. And nothing's 100% flat, okay? So... Is it 100% 100 sphere? No. 100% flat? Absolutely not. The real question you need to ask, the actual question that everybody wants to know, is does the Earth have edges? Okay? Does the Earth have edges? And the answer is a definitive yes. Now, I can only describe it the best way that I know how. Now, None of you are geologists, none of you are, you know, cartographers or mappers or sailors or pirates or any of those things to have looked at this stuff firsthand. Uh, none of you have been to space, likely, unless you're astronauts that are listening. And why you're listening to me, <laughs> I don't know, because uh, you know the truths that probably I don't know behind the scenes of all the various conspiracies. So uh, feel free to message me and let me know some of them, and maybe we'll have you on there. However, comma, here's the thing. The best way I can describe it, a donut. A filled donut. That's the best way I can describe what the Earth actually looks like. And uh, from a perspective that's outside of being physically on it. Now, I'm not getting it. This isn't like me trying to say, oh, the Earth is filled with liquid hot magma. Oh, yeah, it's got some lava inside of it. Like a jelly-filled donut of raspberry filling or something. That's not the filled donut part. And the reason I say filled donut is because it doesn't have a hole. Okay? It's just that shape. I mean, if it'd be weird to say just a regular donut because then you'd be like, that doesn't look like the Earth at all. No. Jelly donut doesn't have any sort of hole in the middle. Okay? And forget the filling. Now, that particular shape, okay, that is what the Earth is like. Because you have, quote-unquote, flat sides and then concave edges. Now, when you are on them, gravity will take you around and keep you on the bottom or the top side. Now, that could change and modify, uh, but it's definitely not spherical, okay? Okay. <laughs> I don't know how people think that the Earth is a sphere. Just because you see an image from space, you see an image from space and all of a sudden you think, oh, well, look at that round shape and a round in 3D is three-dimensional. It's a sphere. No, absolutely not. You're seeing the top of the donut. That's what you're seeing. We've only ever seen the top of the donut from space. They only take those pictures to uh, to increase the propaganda that it's a sphere shape. Now, 
those people and old time and days when the you know Viking ships and pirate ships and they think they're gonna sail off the edge of the earth. Yeah, because all of a sudden they see a ship that's going along and vroom, and then it's gone and they don't see it. So they turn around and all of a sudden that ship probably got eaten by you know a giant squid or something. And then all of a sudden they don't come back and they're like, oh, we're the edge of the earth. No, otherwise we just have ships floating around space. So it's it's not it's not flat for them to fall off and never return. They just go to the other side. Okay, now. If you're looking for proof of this, there's m many uh, scientists who agree 100% with me. There are many people who have done the math and the research and have photos and have evidence. I'm just going to give you one simple one, okay? Pull out, a, pull out a map. Have you ever looked at a map before? And on the map, you see it, okay? You got the map sitting there, right? You're looking at it. Does it look weird to you? Or does it look like the countries actually look? Because if it were, you know, round or spherical... It would be like those fisheye glasses uh, or the, the, you know, the fisheye lenses that you see on security cameras where everything has a, has, a, has a concave to it. That's what it would look like. But it doesn't look like that. In fact, a lot of maps, they have rounded edges like this. They have kind of a round shape on the edges like that. And they say, oh, well, that's because it's wrapped around because it's a globe. No, that's the edges of the donut. That's what it is. And so if you're interested in uh, learning more about this, do your research, do your homework, go online, check it out. But it is 100% not flat, and it's 100% not a sphere. Filled donut without the filling. That's exactly what it looks like. And if you disagree with me, comment. Go to YouTube, go to Facebook, go to Twitter. You can follow, uh, you can subscribe, you can twit, tweet, any type of thing to us, and we would love to hear you uh, because I love to prove people wrong that are telling falsities, and I love to raise those up and retweet and uh, comment back on people that are telling the truth, okay? So if you're interested in supporting us, do any of those things, but you can also uh, support us financially. Uh, we have a store online. I'm not asking for a donation. I'm asking you for to buy some wearable truth, and whether it is, you know, we have Area 52 shirts. Uh, they're kind of debunking the myth of, uh, you know, some of the stuff that's happening in the Raid Area 51 right now. Uh, we've got, uh, you know, things about uh, microwaves. We've got things about uh, Yetis. we got all sorts of, of truths out there. And then you can wear those. It's got the website on it. And then you can support um, what we do by telling the world that we exist. Thanks for listening. I am the Truth Dweller. And together, you, 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 you. And I are the truth dwellers.com. And only we can spread the truth.